Hello, fellow followers, and welcome to this newest rant and Scott's rants called Neuropathways and Habitual Thinking Patterns. So I want to recommend a movie, a film rather, called What the Bleep Do We Know? Because its, it's educational agenda is very important. And uh, if you like what you hear in this video, if you find it interesting, definitely check out that film because it, it it's basically what inspired it's one of the things that's inspired this uh, plus uh, several books but anyway the point is here that I don't know if you've ever heard the saying uh, neurons that fire together wire together right well take for instance when we learn our alphabet like our ABC's or math what's happening is repetition is literally wiring these neural pathways into our mind, right? So when you keep having the same thought over and over and over again, you're building like this net in your mind, right? It, it literally looks like a web, you know? You're webbing this into your mind. Now, furthermore, when you feel something, an emotion, right? That is actually a chemical messenger it's like a drug an internal drug an innate drug and it's released and then it binds to receptors on our on a cellular level and what happens is when a cell divides and reproduces there will be more receptor sites for whatever peptide or substance that's being pumped into those receptors the most, basically. And this is explained in the movie, and I, I want to encourage you to do some research on the internet. By the way, as far as internet for academic research, Google has what's called a scholarly feature where you can put the word scholarly after something you want to know about, and it'll pull up academic journals written by educated and trained professionals from colleges and universities around the world. The same academic journals that students use to write the research papers for citations so you know the internet is can be used for legitimate information so I just wanted to put an end to the uh, idea that you can't get accurate information on the internet I mean you just have to know how to look for it so a lot of times I mean I'm not perfect you know sometimes we were upset or we're sad but when we're like that for so many days in a row sometimes we just need to catch ourselves and realize that we're we're raveling a web of misery into our own minds I mean think of your mind like a canvas and you're the artiste you're the artist you know you, you got the paintbrush you See, what it all boils down to is consciousness, awareness, how aware we are of our own internal dialogue, and we have to be mindful of our own thoughts. And it's one thing to agree with this, to sit there and listen to what I'm saying and go, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, he's right, you know. But then you turn around and you don't do anything about it, there's no point. I mean... Knowledge is useless until you apply it, right? I mean, you can know whatever you want. You can know anything, but information that can't benefit you and that's not applied is useless information. It becomes useful when there is something you can apply it to to increase the quality of your life, and others, you know, etc. So, just remember every thought you have when you say, when you think or say or speak or do something negative, the more you do that, the more that becomes your daily reality. And uh, that's pretty much it for this, this rant, another one of Scott's rants for Monday, October 9th, 2017. Thanks a lot, my fellow subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed these videos to get notifications. 
Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and comment below. Thanks a lot. Until next time, I'm Scott. Peace out.